They didn't do that. Oh, yeah. But what I'm saying is... is so you just buried your mom? I just buried my mom. November came back. I was cleaning up legal issues. Um, and I was up cleaning my gutters. It was December 6, 2006. on uh, Saturday. I was cleaning my gutters. Uh-huh. And I got started getting real sweaty. And it was 38 degrees, windy, cold. And I was cleaning my gutters. Is there... we already for your entree? Yes. Uh, he had the halibut. And I had the I had the Chico Simone. <laughs> Chica? Remember Chico Simone? He was a baseball. Oh, that's right. You wouldn't remember. Okay. You're not old enough to remember '60s okay. baseball players. No, not quite. Chico <laughs> okay. Was there anything else though that I can bring for you? Mm -mm. you We're fine. Thank you. Enjoy. Our trimet dinner. Anyway. I said a trimet dinner. Oh, that's what you want. So I came down off the uh, roof. I was sweating. I was getting dizzy, and I had a golf ball in my throat. Really? Couldn't swallow. Wow. So I go down, go climb up my ladder, and I, I was a Kaiser. I've been a Kaiser member for what, 19 years? So I called the advice nurse out of Beaverton. I said, I need to come in. I'm getting the flu. I'm getting a sore throat, and I want some penicillin. <laughs> and she goes, What are your symptoms? I said, well, I'm really sweating. She says, well, it's 38 degrees out. You shouldn't be sweating. And I said, I'm really dizzy, but I was on dizzy because I was on the roof. And what was the third symptom? Oh, I can't swallow. I got a gulp on my throat. She said, sir, you don't have the flu. And I said, what is it? She said, oh, you're describing the symptoms my husband had four weeks ago. Oh, what happened to your husband? Oh, he had a heart attack. Oh, jeez. So, sir, I'm calling 911 right now. Don't move. And I said, why are you calling 911? I don't need an ambulance. I'm fine. And she goes, no, you're literally going to have a heart attack if you're not having one right now. You need to sit to St. Vincent's right now. I mean, right now. Really? In fact, I'm calling St. Vincent's. You get over there right now. If, how are you going to get there if I don't call the ambulance? I said, my neighbor, he's a doctor. <laughs> promise? Chris Farley air quotes. I promise. Okay, well, be sure to grab your toothpaste. <laughs> oh, shit. So this I got is an actual the, conversation? Yes. Oh, my goodness. So I got in the car, drove myself over, and I was so confident now, pulling the St. Vincent's, put it in the tent. You all set? Yep. Anything else? Nope. Enjoy. Put it in the 10-minute parking. Because <laughs> I figured I'm going to be out. Walk in. Oh, are you Steve Fung? Yes. Here, put this gown on. You know the kind where you put it on and it's buttons in the back and your butt cracks showing? Yeah, yeah. I said, gown, put this on. What are you talking about? Sir, you're a sick man. We're going to give you an EKG right now. Well, okay. So, <laughs> take my clothes off, put the gown on, get on the table. And they said, sir, we'll be in just a second. So, the, uh, the, the technician comes in. You know, they put those little things on your wrists mm -hmm. and your armpits and on your ankles and your lymph nodes. You know, because they're putting you in EKG. Al, that's the last thing I remember. Next thing I remember, true story, too. I woke up on the fourth floor of intensive care where their cardiology floor is. I'm waking up. There's a nurse on my left arm adjusting the IV. There's the doctor, who I later learned was the surgeon that did my stent surgery. And there's my priest from my church, who was called in for last rites. Oh, my God. So I shouldn't even be sitting here having dinner with you. And that's when they told me, I, asked, I said, where am I, what happened? Do you remember anything? I said, yeah, I remember getting the gown on, having the EKG, or getting ready for the EKG, and I don't remember. And they said, oh, boy, did you flip out. We got you on the table. We hooked you up, and you, your heart started going into, what do you call it, fibrillation. Yeah, right. And your heartbeat went to three, 400. And we gave you some down mm -hmm. uh, adrenaline. Or, I, I'm not a doctor. And that didn't work. And it was getting close to 400 beats per minute, and you just stopped, and you started, you just expired on the table. It took us five minutes to get your heartbeat going again, and we got you up to 400 volts. And I remember oh, uh, when I got out of bed, like the, two days later, and I looked myself in the mirror when I went to take a leak. I had these two big burns on my chest where they put the really fibrillators. Is that what they call them? Defibrillator, yeah. Yeah. 350 volts. I had big burns on my chest. 